Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, um, today I'm just gonna be doing another Let's Play and I'm super excited because I love doing just Let's Plays where I can just have fun on my island and play and I feel like I haven't gotten to talk to my villagers in a minute. So, hope you guys enjoy this. Um, it's probably gonna be super chill. I don't have any mail today because, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna go, let's see. Um, what do I have with me? I'm gonna go into my house and just grab some things and then I'm gonna go ahead and head to the shops Okay, so I think I'm gonna grab these because I don't want them just lying in my house Also, I know my house hasn't changed like at all since I have played um, Since I've started this island basically, I don't know I'm kind of like leaving my house interior for last because I feel like it's like a lot easier to do than exterior in my opinion, but um, I know everyone feels a little bit different about that. Um, I don't know why I'm in the furniture. I'm just gonna grab a net, a shovel, um, I don't think I need an axe, but I'm gonna grab like a, a slingshot. Um, and I think that is it. I think that's all I'm looking for. I don't know if I should grab anything else. I can always come back. Also, let me know if you guys like this setup. I am filming on my, um, on my m1 my newer computer because my laggy one is just getting so old now um i feel like it's a terrible idea to film with it even though it's the one that gets in-game sound but i feel like it's more relaxing if i just have like um background music and i mean you guys can still see what's going on so i feel like in-game sound isn't ne isn't necessary um maybe eventually it'll be compatible with this new computer but for now it's not so i think for now i'm just gonna do background music so hope that's cool with you guys um i think it's what i'm gonna have to start doing so if you guys didn't see i have a new island flag i think i did this on a stream um my last let's play was actually on a stream um i know that some of you probably couldn't make it but um i always keep my streams up on my channel so if you guys want to go check that out, you can. In case you feel like you kind of like missed a let's play, it's up to you. But I just changed it to this toucan flag. I, I just think this flag is a lot cuter than my last flag. It was a parrot and it was cute, but there was like no background. So I feel like this just fits my island perfectly. I also thought the toucans were parrots, but apparently they're just their, their own family, I think. So that came as a surprise to me because i know i talked about this in my stream so if you guys saw the stream you guys you guys already know but like there are different types of parrots and i thought that a toucan was just a type of parrot but ap apparently they're closely related but they're not directly parrots so fun fact i know that probably no one cares you're probably just like get on with this let's play come on sword but it was very you know what it was very it took me it caught me by surprise because i love birds and i i just oh i have no money okay there's actually some pretty cute stuff in here today but i need to go and take out some bells um again sorry if i ramble in this let's play i guess i'm kind of just more in a rambly mood today um so i think i'm just gonna take out a hundred thousand i know some of you guys are gonna be looking at my savings balance like what how how in the world well you see I think most of those bells are from like a treasure island I went to at one point um, but I did also get a lot of bells from friends and just doing trades on Nookazon so that's another good way to get money or get bells if you guys are wondering how to make more bells. Maybe I can make like a whole video on it if you guys are interested. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm gonna go back here and get a bunch of- order a bunch of this stuff. I don't think I have the yellow one, but I don't want to buy it yet. Tulip hat. I have all the tulip hats already. They're so cute. Um, I have this song. I have all this already. Okay. So, um, oh, I already have this whoopee cushion too. Um, April Fool's is tomorrow. Today is actually the 31st of March. So, um, I think I'm just good for now. I think we're good. And I'm just going to go ahead and go back to Nook's Cranny. Okay. So, it looks like the bunny day items are now on sale. I absolutely adore the new bunny I bunny day items. I actually love last year's bunny day items too. I always thought they were cute. Um, and so I'm glad they're back along with some new items. Super fun. Um, 
definitely gonna get all of them. I think I have this. I don't have this. I'm just gonna grab all the items that I don't have because I like being able to catalog. Um, I've decided that I will probably never be restarting this island because um, I think once I move on to a new theme or like you know, decide to do something new on this island, I'm just gonna flatten everything. So this is gonna be like my flattening island. And then once I get another switch, that's gonna be the island that I restart every time I'm doing a new theme. So I'm gonna have both the, I'm gonna get to like experience both the positives and negatives of flattening and restarting. And maybe I can like make a video about it once like I do it a few more times if you guys are interested, so. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of cute wallpapers today. I'm always worried that I'm like reordering the same ones and I'm pretty sure I do that a lot, but it's better to have two than to not have them and then spend forever trying to find them again, honestly. Um, so yeah, should I get this yellow simple cloth? I feel like I just wanna have like all the wallpapers so I have more, um, options whenever I'm decorating in the long run. So hopefully by the time I finish this island, um, I'll have like a ton of wallpapers and flooring and I can have a lot to choose from when I'm doing my house, which will be like the last thing I do pretty much. So I think we're good in here for now. I'm going to go over to the Able Sisters. Also, um, I did finally end up ordering the Sanrio cards from Etsy. Uh, for those of you who didn't know, yeah, I tried to get them from Target the, the morning they came out. Didn't work out for me, so um, someone I knew was having a sale on their Etsy shop, so I went ahead and just ordered the custom Sanrio Amiibos from her, and I'm super excited because they're supposed to be coming in April 10th, which will be a while from now, but um, I'm super excited because... Honestly, I'm I'm gonna move in. I'm thinking of replacing Nana with Chai on this island and I'm definitely gonna move in some of them on a different island, but I haven't quite decided yet on everything, so. Um, I feel like Chai would fit in on this island just because she's a peppy elephant villager and I feel like elephants, you know, they live they kind of like live in the savanna, but they live in like tropical, subtropical places. So I feel like she would fit in here and she's cute and stuff. So even though she's not like resorty or something, I feel like she would still fit in. And I also want to move like the other villagers in, um, not other villagers, but I want to move some of the other Sanrio villagers onto my next island as well so oh my gosh daisy's so cute i just had to walk up to her and see what the heck she was looking at she's so cute so i think i did all my like daily shop chores that sounds really funny like shopping chores i mean maybe it's a chore for some people who don't like going clothes shopping like back to school clothes shopping or something but all right i'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff in my storage and then i'm gonna try to like maybe do some fishing um, catching some bugs. I don't know. Just see what we can get done today. And I'm also going to do a small build today. As you guys probably saw from the thumbnail, I will get to that here soon. So I also have to do a midterm paper today. So I'm literally trying to get everything done. Um, I'm doing a midterm paper. I'm, I'm like packing and stuff to go, um, drive to see some family over the weekend. Um, and I'm also doing a live stream tonight, so I kind of overbooked myself, but it's my own fault and um, I'm just gonna try to try to do the best I can with everything. So there's a ton of insects, well bugs over here. Oh no, I just scared away a pretty one. No. Um, but there's a ton over here just because I'm, I guess, keeping all my flowers over here for now until I figure out what to do with them. Um, I want to use a bunch of like the pink and yellow mums and the green mums. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using the roses on this island, which sucks because I was super excited when I found out that roses were my native flower, but now I'm realizing that I may not even be using them on this island just because it's tropical. Also, we found a bunny day, um, an egg message bottle. So let's see 
let's see what DIY recipe this holds with um with the zippers fun fun poem riddles whatever the heck he sends oh we got the bunny day wall so i actually already had all this stuff from last year but i i just didn't bring it onto my new island so i'm glad that i can get all this stuff back because i know that there's a lot of controversy with zipper but let's be real the bunny day items are cute as heck you know even if you don't like zipper Maybe you don't like the bunny day items either, which is fine, but I think they're cute, so I want to make sure I get all of them um, again this year, even though I got all of them last year, but that was on a different island, so I gotta get all my stuff back, you know? Oh, I didn't even grab a fishing rod? Are you kidding me? I always forget to grab a fishing rod. Maybe I'll just catch some bugs for now. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my museum. I have no idea where I'm going to place it yet, and I don't know what I'm going to turn it into. So if you guys have any cool ideas, please let me know, because um, I want to like turn it into something that it's not. I like turning, like you see the way I turned the campsite into the luau stage, I like turning stuff into like just completely different, um, different things than what they are, I guess, if that makes sense. I feel like everyone has like an aspect of this game that they love, and for me it's like designing, which is probably why I've kept up with this game for so long, just because I love designing in this game, and I feel like there's not a whole lot else that you can do, honestly. I think they should have more updates where there's like more interactions with villagers that are like actually meaningful and more projects maybe you know i feel like it'd be more fun that way but i'm okay with designing for now um i do like a lot of the new updates they've given us though um but a lot ag again a lot of it is like new items new new design methods more custom slots which i'm super happy about don't get me wrong but i feel like there's other players on this game who like don't care as much about designing who want more the ability to do more i guess if that makes sense you see i see flora back there so i'm gonna go talk to her i'm also gonna grab these um leaf eggs because we're gonna be seeing eggs for a while may as well grab them i love her catchphrase pinky she is so cute she is such a such a little pop star i need to fix this i'm gonna remove this um bridge and connect this river um when i get the chance but yeah um also if you guys didn't see my last video i did a little build of um lily's uh splash pad so that's what this looks like so i'm gonna end up connecting these areas somehow i just haven't gotten around to doing it quite yet but yeah i'm super happy with how it turned out and then the little splash pad is up here so yeah again i really like how the new update new update items look with our house and um i also decided that i'm gonna go ahead and get into my island designer app today and just add a few more um lily pads across this river because i think it'll look a little bit more complete and i don't know i just think it would be cute to add just a few more so that's what i'm gonna do here just really quick um so yeah, it's gonna be kind of a boring process, but it, it's not gonna take me very long. So maybe I'll just chat and talk to you guys about things while I do this. I don't know. I never know what to talk about in these videos. If you guys are interested in hearing about like specific topics during my Let's Plays or something, do let me know because I would love to make these like more interesting and, you know, just talk about more things, but I don't want to completely bore you guys and go off topic, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to hear about. So I think it's good here. I know this isn't very symmetrical, but I'm kind of trying to make it look more natural. And I'm also trying to make it to where like you can like hop between these. Waterscaping is kind of hard for me sometimes, honestly. Okay, I think that looks okay. I know that one's really close to the edge there. But honestly, I think three is enough. If I want to add more, I can always add more. What do you guys think? Um, I think this is good. Yeah, this is cute. I love it. Um, yeah, I definitely should have added like more in the build of these like lily pads, but um, we got it now. We got it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and start. Now that I'm in the Island Designer app, I'm just going to go ahead and do the build that I wanted to do today. So I'm going to go back to my house really quick 
to grab a few items um, and then we will go ahead and begin. So um, as you guys, uh, again, as I discussed earlier, I'm going to be doing an ice cream truck build. Um, I know the whole camper thing, camper um, trend has been going around and I um, wanted to kind of use it because I think it would look really cute on this island. So I'm gonna have like the codes and stuff in the description and I'll also go into more details um, here in a bit. I just want to grab the stuff first. So I think I'm gonna grab two soft serve lamps and what else? What else? Um, I don't know. I don't know what else I want to do. So um, I don't know if I want to use these items. I don't know how well they would fit. Maybe like have some tables out side the truck. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and head to the beach now. Okay, if I sound sad for the rest of this video, um, I just had a trip canceled on me again that I was planning. Um, I've been planning this trip since last, since last year, um, and then it got canceled. So like when everything first started with the virus, sorry, I'm gonna try to, oh, it, it's gone. I thought the balloon was still here. Um, I'm just going to talk about this really quick while I look for an area to put the truck, but, um, oh, no, Lily, you're not leaving. If she's asking to leave, she's not leaving. But basically, my, um, I was going to go on a study abroad trip in August to Israel, and I had this planned out. I was actually going to do this last August, but they canceled due to the virus, which was understandable. Um, so then I waited a whole nother year. I was like, okay, I'm going to push it back to next August, which is this upcoming August. And I waited a whole nother year for it. And then just now, just like a few minutes ago, I got an email saying that, um, that unfortunately they will also be canceling this year's. Um, they're suspending uh, any trips to... Israel this year as well um, through the, the program that I'm going through. So they have canceled now for the second time. So I will not be going on my study abroad trip in August, which is unfortunate. Um, I was really excited for it. And it's just sad that they had to cancel twice and I waited like a whole year. Um, I guess it was technically like a year and a half that I waited on this trip because I first planned it in last January, not not the past January, but the January before that. Um, I know some of you guys don't care, but it, I just wanted to kind of rant about that because I'm a little bit sad about this trip and, um, you know, I was, I'm, I'm gonna get the vaccine regardless, but it, it's just unfortunate that they had to, to cancel, cancel the trip again. So if I sound a little bit sad, a little bit disappointed in the rest of this video, that is why. Again, I'm sorry if you guys don't care about this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just start building the truck here. I okay, I think, I'm not sure. I'm trying to find a good spot to do this. Okay, so this is the area that I wanna do like the little carnival. And I think I kinda wanna have the ice cream truck close to the carnival. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and like put it right here. I will have, like I said, I will have all the codes in the description. Um, and I will give credit to the person who did this. So the person who created these food trucks, there's two actually, was Mia from Laguna Crossing. Yeah, so Mia from Laguna Crossing created these here. These are This is the ice cream food truck that I'm gonna be using. And um, so I will also have her code and her Instagram in the description. Full credit goes to her. This is no original idea by any means, so um, I think I'm gonna put it here on the beach though. So but first I'm gonna customize the uh, stalls. So I brought with me a workbench to do this um, right here. And I have some, I just bought a bunch of customization kits. So, oops, no, I don't wanna craft. So let's, let's just start, let's just start customizing and I'll show you guys how I do this. So here's my two stalls. Um, I'm gonna have, like I said, I will have all the codes, but I think, uh, I think I'm gonna do like 
um one of you sent me a custom in the custom slots i think it was alara in the discord she sent this and i think this is a really cute stall so this is the um what i'm using for this for the stalls and then this is what i'm going to be using for the menu so i'm going to go ahead and just customize this really quick and hopefully that will blend in okay with the ice cream truck we will see i haven't done this yet so i'm going to customize this to be the ice cream menu yeah, so now I'm just going to start setting things down and see how it looks. I'm not really sure entirely what I'm doing, so... Alright, so I think I'll place this first. I'm actually not sure if I even have enough room here because it's so close to the water, but we're going to try. I think this is the order it needs to go in. Again, I can always change it if this looks ridiculous. I always forget to go back into my custom designs app after I place these but okay so this is the basic design of the ice cream truck itself i think it looks really cute but i think i'm gonna have to move these back because i'm going to be putting stalls behind them i'm thinking i might like set things on the um on top not on top but like on the panels because like you can see through it maybe it would be cute if i put like sweet treats there or something along those lines you know there's not a lot of room here like i said so this isn't the most ideal spot i think i'm gonna move this um i'm just gonna move this to the my carnival area because i don't i just don't think there's enough room over here unfortunately so all right i'm just gonna go ahead and move it to the back of what's gonna be my carnival area and first because that just like i feel like that didn't work out super well so i'm just gonna start doing my floral pathing and speed this up a little bit and i will get back to you guys when i'm working on the ice cream truck again Okay, so I just did a quick, um, you know, little path here that's going to lead to the truck and I'm just going to put it up here now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just do what I did earlier for you guys. I might speed this up a little bit too so it's not super boring for you all since I already did this before. Okay, so here's the food truck, got that down, and then we're just going to do what we did earlier with the stalls. Um, I know that she like used windows behind these, um, behind the cutout standees, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to end up like ordering frozen treats and put them there instead, just because I feel like that'll still look fine that way you know <laughs> we got our ice cream truck back i think it looks super cute i do think it looks cute and then i think i'll put like the the simple panel menu the ice cream menu right next to it yeah that's cute i like that i do like that and then i'll put like the um one of the soft serve lamps next to it. i think i'll do the the white and strawberry one just because it'll look better with the colors probably yeah i think that's cute and then I'm going to put like palm trees behind because this area is very empty, but this is my ice cream truck and eventually this place is going to be turned into like a little cute carnival area. As you can see, it leads out to this like lighthouse lookout area and my theme is kind of like lots of hints of pink on this island. So I think this is cute for sure. Um, okay guys, I am back. I didn't order anything. I just went and grabbed some stuff from my house. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is have like a just small little sitting area here. I know that's probably not super normal for food trucks, but who cares? It's fine. It's fine. This is Sugar Shore where magical things happen. Um, I don't know. It might be normal. I don't really know much about it. So I'm going to craft two of these wooden mini tables to set out here. And I am also going to customize them to look super cute um 
I really like using these for like little outdoor sitting areas. Now let's go ahead and customize them really quick. Hopefully we can do that. Uh, all right, so I think I'm just gonna leave it like the natural light wood color and then I wanna put like a pattern on it. I don't know if I'm gonna use a custom pattern or, or one of the given patterns yet, I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe I should use this. Does that look good or no? I can't tell, let me see. I'm gonna see if this looks good because this like matches the ice cream aesthetic that makes sense let's see i'm gonna place it down because i know it's supposed to be for like these stalls but um i don't know i think it would look cute let's see it kind of works a little bit i think it works fine yeah it let me know if you guys like the way this looks i think it looks cute i think the plaid pastel works the best for it so i'm just gonna use that again i can always change it so i think i'm gonna make it this design for now i'm gonna go ahead and oh i forgot that i need chairs i don't have stools wait i think they might not be a diy item i think i may have to order them um but i also picked up some stuff here so i think i'm gonna put a frozen treat set down here i think that's cute and then behind this, I'm just going to put like little things that you can see through it. Um, I only like found like cakes and stuff, but like ice cream cake is a thing. So I'm hoping that's okay. I think I'll put like this pink mixer behind here um, to show that, you know, they're making it. Um, and then this like little stand mixer. I know it's like not actually ice cream, but... We can pretend i also grabbed a laptop for like oh that is not the one i meant to grab okay hold on i think i grabbed two definitely think i grabbed two but now i don't see the other one maybe i'll just place a cake here and um some of the pomperin pudding i know these are not ice cream items but I don't know i feel like these are okay maybe to use because you can like see them peeping out through it um and then i thought about see i thought about placing some garland i wasn't sure where to place it though just some like festive garland here i don't know does that look cute and then i can put another one on the other side i think this is cute um, let's see. I can't get it any closer because of the the ice cream. I think that's cute. I think that looks like a really cute start. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and order some stools as well as grab some palm trees and then I will be back to finish this build. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I meant for it to take, but it turns out that the stool is a DIY. That's what I thought, and unfortunately, I only have one left, so I think I'm going to be using the cinema roll uh, stools instead. I think they're super cute and will go super well with this, so I think that's what I'm going to use instead. So hopefully, this looks okay. Um, I don't know if I should put them both on the side or like behind. I'm not sure, but... Maybe I'll just like put it behind here for now. Um, like I said, I can always rearrange things and you guys can let me know what you think as well. Um, like maybe like an ice cream cupcake. I don't know. I don't know if this makes any sense, but yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put some sand patches so that I can plant some palm trees around this area. Probably not a good spot here. I think I'm going to put some... I wanted to put some behind, but I don't know if that's going to look right or if it's even going to let me plant them because sometimes it can be really picky about where you can plant things. Oh, perfect. Okay, that actually that's really cute. I like that. And then maybe I can plant another one here. I just love planting palm trees in random places just because I feel like it adds so much more of the tropical element that we're trying to go for here you know so okay i think that looks good um i don't know if i should like plant a few more 
Um, I think this is good for now because the rest of this area is going to be turned into a carnival. I might put another food truck next to this one. I'm not sure yet, but this whole area is just going to be a little carnival. So this is just the little area I got done today. I think it turned out super cute. Definitely not super hard to build, but um, if you guys want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have the codes in the description because this is not my original idea and it's not my codes. Um, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. So I think I'm gonna exit out of my island designer app. I was gonna do like a whole build video on this, but I felt like it wasn't necessary just cause it's kind of a smaller build, but I'm still really proud of it. I think it turned out super cute. I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here probably. So again, I will be doing more Let's Plays where I'm doing more, um, especially when I have more time to do so. But again, thank you all so much for watching and thank you for being so kind and supportive. And if you do want to join our little Discord community, um, I do have my Discord link in all my descriptions. And if you do enjoy this kind of content and you just stumbled across my channel, do consider liking and subscribing because I do try to put out a lot of good content for you all and I also do live streams every week for the most part. I don't have a stream schedule yet because of school, but um, trying to finish up my college classes uh, this month and next so I will be very busy with that but I hope to still be in touch with you all and I hope you did enjoy this video um, I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are and again I hope to see you all in my next video bye